the University of Melbourne is butting out. We decided that as a leading research and teaching institution that was engaged in public health research and, and training the next generation of public health practitioners, that we had an obligation to our students um, and the wider community to take a positive stance on tobacco and smoking. Tobacco free for the University of Melbourne means being a smoke free campus, not selling tobacco products on campus and not accepting research funding from tobacco companies. The university's decision to stage implementation has widespread support. We recognise that it's not going to happen overnight, that we need to be respectful to staff and students who presently are smokers. We made the decision that we would have some designated smoking zones for an interim period. The indications are that this approach is working well. When we consider that more than 8 out of 10 people using the campus won't be smokers, the university is clearly responding to what most people want, which is a healthy smoke-free area both indoors and out. The move is also in line with a vast body of research, much of it from within the university, that points to the horrific effects of cigarette use and passive smoking. The research tells us that uh, if you inhale other people's smoke, then you're at risk of the damage of that smoke. So the university should be, in a sense, promoting a, um, a healthy workplace, a healthy environment for students, for staff, for visitors, um, and also actually helping people who are smoking, helping them to quit. Professor Tania Voon from Melbourne Law School is an expert in plain packaging legislation. Plain tobacco packaging was an important step for Australia. We are leaders in tobacco control and have a whole range of tobacco control measures in place. My area of expertise is the ongoing disputes uh, at the World Trade Organisation and also uh, a dispute brought under the Hong Kong-Australia Bilateral Investment Treaty. In the WTO, for example, the dispute concerns things such as uh, tobacco trademarks and whether plain tobacco packaging is contrary to the rules in the World Trade Organisation about intellectual property law and how Australia is treating trademark owners. I think that Australia has a very strong chance of winning both of these disputes in the World Trade Organisation and under international investment law. The university's decision also exists as part of an Australia-wide push to deter smoking. Smoking still unfortunately remains the number one cause of preventative death in Australia and the best thing any person can do for their health is quit smoking. We would all like to see and we're all working towards making a smoke free uh, Australia in the future. We're very interested actually in looking at what's the most cost effective approaches. Where should the government be investing? Should it be investing in for example drug therapy to help people quit or should it be doing more of the big uh, public health campaigns? Obviously, I think the latter, um, because they've been so cost effective. I mean, we think upwards of 450,000 people haven't died prematurely in Australia because of tobacco control. To celebrate the university going cold turkey, we're giving away a cold turkey. Just tweet a link to this video and mention the University of Melbourne for your chance to win. You can get more information at smokefree.unimelb.edu.au.